Uh, the walnut industry hasn't had nematode resistance in its rootstocks uh, forever. And we found this tree it's a, from China. It's a Juglans canthiensis number 21 from a specific tree at Davis. Um, and it is resistant to root knot and root lesion nematodes. And lesion nematode is terrible to these trees. They will stop growing if they get too many, or that is, the normal trees, whereas this one is the first chance we've had to go with, with, with resistance. This becomes the first set of trees that we're going to now look for starve and switch. Is this different enough of a tree from a normal walnut that uh, we can walk away from the problem that's there in the walnuts? So that's what this is. There's some problems with this one. Same tree with Chandler Scion on top, so this is going to produce English walnut. But uh, so it takes the graft. This is that same jug Juglans Cathiensis. But at the graft union, there's a lack of uh, compatibility here. And you see it on both of these grafted limbs. So this tree, the Juglans Cathiensis, will have to go back to Davis, probably, and be back crossed with some English to bring greater compatibility at this graft union. We didn't know this for a couple of years after we planted it uh, and identified its resistance, but it has this wonderful little color. Um, whereas its sisters from, that fell from the same tree, there's an example over here, um, they don't have that reddening that's there. What that means, we don't know, but um, uh, its offspring, we have clones of this one now, and its offspring do the same thing. That red blush is, uh, is common.